more clay. It's gonna be another clay day. Today we're gonna work on the front bumper, get that ironed out. Maybe some more, we'll see what happens. It is warm. <laughs> like, not the clay, the clay's not warm. It's just really humid and good. Hey Ryan, so what kind of progress are we making? Don't come in, I'm naked. Don't come in, don't look. What's I going? said don't look! Oh no! This is gonna set us back two weeks! We don't have a budget for this! Listen, it happens, alright? It's, 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 uh, you'll have that on these big jobs. Ah, uh, what am I gonna tell the customer about this now? Uh, maybe we don't. I can fix it, I can fix it. Just go away, I'll fix it, I'll fix it real quick. Alright, you better. So Mountain Dew had sent us this clock a while back for a TikTok that we did. Um, we'll use this to gauge how long it takes to repair this panel. Whew! That was stressful, I'll tell you what, it took all of, I didn't look. Three minutes, four minutes? I didn't look at the clock before I started. Something like that. One Mountain Dew. One Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> it took about one. It's like, I don't know, maybe two, three, <laughs> three what? Mountain Dews. <laughs> This opening? Yeah. No, I'm uh, at least more in this, more to this size yeah. and less to that yeah. size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of funny because there's there's not a ton of clay to put mm -hmm. here because it's mostly opening yep. underneath. Yeah, it would um, be a shelf across the bottom probably. Yeah, Leave cool. that the same, yeah. fill this out, change the opening, make it flow a little better. Yeah. We'll be defining what seems like a, a shape to a front end, but most of it, it's going to be very little actual substance and mostly just kind of appearance of shape. Negative space. Yep. The negative space. Negative space. Negative space. Hmm. Antimatter. Anti we're, <laughs> we're moving into the realm of antimatter. Oh no. <laughs> which, which parallel universe are we in now? What <laughs> earth? If in an alternate universe if we're building cars or we're like doing something play related that's not the cars. <laughs> I don't know what. Yeah. Pottery. Well, can we do a ghost remake scene right now? No, no, <laughs> no, no. We're not doing that for an intro skit. Or maybe once. I wonder if this is what Pinocchio felt like. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I think I'm happy with this now. Um, I'm not 100% sure on it being completely flat in the bottom yet, but let's go see what Tony thinks, and maybe this time he won't take over. I'm not, I'm not completely sold on the, on, on the, the shelf. The, yeah, how, how long that comes out. Yeah, um, and that's, like I said, I, I just built it out because it, it went proud of the yeah. nose. Yeah. And I know that the client said that he wanted it to stick out pretty far. Pretty far, yeah. Now that doesn't mean the bumper itself will stick out far, it could be a separate splitter underneath to stick out far. Yeah. yeah. If that's the case, if that's the way you can go. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm leaning towards not have, having it out maybe half that far, but... Um... How about we put some tape down? I have no control over your hands anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Watch them, make sure you just go for your rods. I feel like half would be something about like that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think that's. Yeah. So you think more like that? I think so. I, yeah, I can see it because, well, it's gonna change. This is gonna determine. <laughs> it's funny. This this strip that's like two inches wide yeah. changes the look entirely. Like, yeah. it's like you want it to be more aggressive. It looks almost like an M1 at that point. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we're that's taking. We're yeah. taking bring bring the shelf back. Yeah. Change. Make that a little more fluid, the vertical yeah. slat. Yeah. Probably around this a little Same bit more too. Same thing there. Yeah, a little more fluid. Not yeah. too fluid that it's like right. full around, but but I like the shape of the opening. Yeah. And I like the contour of the front section. Like looking down the side here. There, that's what when I, I was looking down good. from there, I yeah, I liked it. Um, It is a beautiful morning over here at Crucible Coach Works. It's a Saturday, it's quiet, the sun's not out too much, it's nice and cloudy, it's cool. It's the perfect time to make the exhaust for the slant nose. Now this exhaust is temporary as the engine that we have in the slant nose right now is also temporary, but it can be modified to fit the engine going into it later, so it's not a complete waste of time. And kinda wanna drive the car, so. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the 3D printed jigs that I made or I call them jigs or mock-up pieces, whatever, that snap together to figure out how this is gonna route. It's gonna be simple, but it's gonna work. So let's just get to it. Okay, so we have our mocked up 3D printed, we know, jig here of what the exhaust should be. Now, I needed to extend this a little bit further. I didn't have enough pieces to do that, but it's just a straight pipe. And then back here, I needed to actually shorten it just a little bit. I should have printed one half the size of these to equal opposite, but whatever, it's fine. Either way, there's our jig. We have one of the uh, pipes here, and now we are not doing stainless because this is a temporary exhaust, and I misspoke earlier. I'm gonna remake the exhaust later on for the actual engines going into it in stainless, probably. So, not a huge deal. And then here's our silencer too. These actually are pretty sweet. It's basically like this. It's like a muffler that goes inside of the pipe. You just, you just tap it in there. You can you tack it or whatever, and it just kind of helps muffle the sound, so it's not as like sharp or raspy or whatever. Um, I love those things. They work great. Where's the brand if anybody's interested? But yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and make this out of this. Yeah. I already ran into the problem. Um, when we ordered the pipe, we did not get the same radius bend as the jigs, and I thought we did. I don't know what got lost in translation there. It doesn't matter, we can make it work. Um, I'll flip around so you can kind of see what's going on. If I line this up here, you can see the inner radius is actually tighter on our plastic than it is on the actual pipe. So I think I'm gonna do is Keep that aligned, slide it back a little bit further, and then make the cut like there, right here, where I have it marked. And it should be close enough that I can then kind of fettle it and grind it a little bit to get to where I need it to be. The little things that add up that take more time that are kind of annoying, but that's cars.
operate the switches. And I'll Yo, I'll do the fuel. switches. All right, you're electrical and I'm fuel. I don't think we trust this. I don't remember what's what here. I think, I that think should just be the fuel pump. It should be the fuel pump. Yeah. Yep, sounds like fuel That's pump. the fuel pump. We're not in gear, right? Not that we have any axles in it. As long as we're not in reverse, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. All right. Crank it. Do we need more jump pack battery? Dead. 11 volts. Oh, uh, that's a problem. Ah! He had one job, Tony. Which was it? I don't remember which one that was. I guess jump pack. I did get the jump pack. To get a good jump pack. Oh. To get a working jump pack. Mm. I didn't say I was good at my job. That's literally his only job he has here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jump pack guy. Jump pack guy. Yep. We have we have camera guy. We have jump pack guy. Yep. And clay guy. Looks yeah, like we, just the clay guy. <laughs> looks like we might have a new jump pack guy coming soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See if I can do a better job this time. Yeah. I swear I can do a better job. <laughs> All right. Fuel pump. Check. Okay. Cranking. Check. I think so, yes. <laughs> yes. Listen, baby steps, all right? This thing doesn't even move. Godzilla doesn't need a timing adjustment, and he breathes fire. <laughs> yeah. <You know, laughs> I, I, I can't argue with that. Correct. That uh, mentality. <laughs> Tony, why are we, why, why are we, why are we? Why are we Just firing why are this we? off? Yeah. Yes, because we don't have much time. We have a pretty big deal thing coming up in what three weeks ish. Yeah, this video come out Saturday, so yeah, about about three weeks. We have three weeks to get this thing running, breaking, like stopping breaking, not like breaking, breaking, yeah, yeah. probably right. breaking and fixing. Um, the seat figured out here a little better. Accelerator pedal. Uh, yeah, some other odds right. and ends because. Because Grind Hard, the people from Grind Hard are coming out. You sound so not excited about that. Oh, well, I'm I'm very matter of fact, Ryan, in case you haven't it's noticed. True. I don't know why I keep bringing attention to this. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, the people from Grind Hard are going to help us build a body for this. So it will be even cooler after it runs and then looks cool. So uh, I'm going to be there in like, what, three weeks? <laughs> yep. Is, uh, is Yes. Yeah. It, <laughs> that that is the plan. Yes. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be here. It'll be running. It'll be driving when you get here in three weeks. Nice. Well, we'll go over the list of that later. Yeah. We we don't sleep here when there's a time crunch. So. How is that? <laughs> I'm still recovering. Anyway, yeah. Well, it'll be ready in three weeks. Don't worry. Cool. That's to both of you. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming by for an entire week to spend time with us in the workshop to learn some metal shaping and in the process build an aluminum body for the hunting cart. We had the best job. <laughs> yeah, and in the meantime, we still have to make a 928 wide. Yeah. Wider. W wider, widest, something yeah. like that. So yeah, keep, keep an eye out because we'll be putting content in the next three weeks worth of videos, I guess, Saturdays, peppering in some 914 hunting cart content alongside the 928 wide body kit, kit conversion. It what used to look like this. And it still does look like this on this side, but, <laughs> and then it doesn't, it looks like this, but it won't be like this until we finish all the work. <laughs> look like this, don't be like this. 
the people at Grindheart are awesome people and we were excited to have them come to our little humble shop. So anyway, I adjusted what we talked about. Yep, and looks like adjusted it. adjusted some more, I added, cut this back, added some radiuses there, straightened this out, kind of whatever. And then I also kind of just went over the whole car and cleaned up some lumpy spots I didn't like. Yep. Not all of them, but just a quick skim just to kind of iron out some details. Is this more of what you're looking for? Yeah, I think this is a lot closer. Like we talked about, the, the grills in here will help kind of bring it all together and make it feel, yeah, more like smooth. Smooth. And I was just looking at it now and thinking about it. We might want a little more radius on here too. And, I agree. And, and a little bit of, and just a little bit of convexness. Yeah. Convexness. Convexness. Convexity, convexity is the word. Oh. I believe the word you were looking for is convexity. <laughs> convexity. I'm uh, not sure that's a word. It is. Is it? Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm about 95% sure. That. Look forward to more convexity. <laughs> <laughs> and I will stand right here and promise you more convexity. <laughs> the problem is... If, if I am elected president of Crucible, <laughs> I promise more convexity. I have video footage of why you should not be the president and it involves manipulating my hands in a way <laughs> that is disturbing. However, yeah, I look forward to, uh, we're gonna move to what? The rear end next, right? Yep. We're gonna work on the rear bumper, maybe work on the rear spoiler. I was hoping, I mentioned in the last video that we, I was hoping we'd get the clay work done. Uh, we're not there yet. We just didn't have time, but that's okay. And it's not surprising that I would assume a incorrect time frame <laughs> for anything. It doesn't matter what it is. I will always be wrong on the time frame. <laughs> Do not trust me with time, but you can trust me with your clay. Yes. I think. So anyway, as always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Help us grow. As you, you guys mentioned, you like our videos so much. Well, the more exposure we get, the more that we can bring you guys more content and hopefully switch back to two videos a week instead of one, eventually, yes. if, if that allows. Anyway, as always, we'll see you next Saturday. Later. <laughs>